Okay. Dermatology. Okay. This is me before the weekend. Let's make some coffee. Should I also dress up to study? People do that, right? Do I? I should, huh? I should. Okay. I'm still hooked on this, so let's make this. Oh, where'd my voice go? It's gone. We're gonna get wired. So today's plan, one, study, two, pack Patreon orders, three, maybe upload the vlog. I'm thinking it's ready. Well, it's been ready, but I haven't watched it again. Ugh, I didn't boil water. Dun dun dun. multitask. Oh man, I'm out. Okay, so the idea behind this is when it drips, it'll somewhat stay cold. But let's test it out. It smells so good. Beautiful. So the thing is, at school, I'll make it and I'll drink it, but at one point, it hits me like really hard. Like I won't... Like it'll be hard for me to function and I'll focus solely on me calming down. I feel like it's working, but my ice cube is like almost gone. September 4 and it's currently 8.38. Okay, put that in somewhere, right here. Okay, well, I only finished one lecture, but it's already 11 and I told myself I'm gonna pack, so we're, let's pack. These are my four lectures, one, two, three, four. I actually, I need to post everything. Nice! Okay, I think I should add an emoji. Some music emoji. Okay, okay, okay. Then I have to go to Patreon. I'm gonna add all the emojis. I think I finished. Artist, illustration, Patreon. Next is, I think I'm gonna pack orders while watching my vlog because I need to get it up. I need to. Oh, what I could do is listen to podcasts about dermatology. Mac and cheese cup. I haven't eaten it yet.
this is the current state of what things. The heck? Hello, it's now 5.40. I, I made a fruit fly chopper. So far, have not caught any. I always drop one. I want a strawberry. It's probably gonna get jammed. One more. Nice. So, six o'clock. I haven't done as much as I want to, but I'm glad I'm slowly grasping on to some things. Also, it's week two. I have not gotten a complaint from my neighbor yet, but to give you context on how thin the walls are, I can hear them sing when they sing, but I don't know how loud they're singing, but I can hear them from my room. I've been drinking these every single day and coffee. I finished packing, um, my straw's pointing to it. I think that's all the orders, I mean the Patreon rewards that I need to pack. My friend called me earlier to give me a pop quiz. I'm so thankful. I don't know if I've talked about this, but so I started didactic year, which is essentially I'm getting taught everything I need before I go out and see patients. I have hope that I will not fail. There we go. I want to get out there, but I want to learn as much as I can. And I'm nervous that at this pace that we're going, I'm not learning the way that I want. Like the, the pressure makes it flow through one ear and out the other while I want to learn and take my time. So there's some inner conflict there, but I'm going to figure out a way that works. I'm currently rewriting my notes for the second time and it kind of helps. So we'll see how that goes. I just, I don't know, but yeah. Okay. I wasted these, got these. Psoriasis. 
systemic, or topical steroids. It's like a rice crisp, but it's like really crispy. Dang. I feel like Malin. Malin, if you're watching. Malin? Malin. Malin. I have two more lectures of derm and then I can move on to ENT. Welcome back to a smoothie segment. Mango. Sometimes I talk and then I'm editing and I'm like, why did I talk so much?
Welcome to the end of another video. Guess what? I got a mic and it's so tiny. I wait, actually, I should put it on something, huh? I feel like I haven't talked to the camera in a while and it's true, but I was really excited to get this mic. It's tiny, but it is powerful. It is actually September 27. I meant to get this vlog up a long time ago, but in the time span of when we last talked, I have taken three tests. Isn't that wild? My hair is like a hot mess. Okay, so I've taken three tests since the last time we have talked. Two of them, ClinMed. I took the second one today. Last week I had uh, my f last week I had my first pharmacology test. I'm not burnt out surprisingly, but I do have these moments where I just like combust. Okay, but the main topic is thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's actually a online platform where you have thousands of classes to choose from. Anything from like fine art, graphic design, cooking, yoga, photography. I feel like I say this so many times, but there's honestly so many videos and so many classes that you can go through and it's endless because people are consistently making up. People are just constantly pumping out new videos for you to watch. And for this week, it's actually you can see it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The window. The wind today is insane and it screams. The window scream. I just I had a heart attack. I thought it was like a ghost. I'm dead. Okay. Well. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. I thought that was too much. I wish you- I wonder if you can hear it. It reminds me of um, Sad Shrimps L in this one vlog where she talks about the windows making this howling sound when the wind is like really strong. I hear it nowadays and that was the loudest one yet. Where was I? I lost it. Anyways, Skillshare has a ton of videos for you to watch. It's great because you can choose what you want to learn. I decided to focus on how to organize your workflow to maximize productivity with Dr. Ali Abdah. And I also, right here, I also decided to watch How to Study for Exams, an evidence-based masterclass. If you are interested in trying out Skillshare, I will have a link down below. The first 1,000 people who click on it will get a free trial to their premium membership for one whole month. <sighs> I'm at that point where I'm literally like handwriting everything and I just don't know if it's worth my time. Like, it's endless. I just dropped one. It's like by the end of the week, there's just endless amounts of paper. And I just don't know if that's like the most practical method right now. I feel like flashcards aren't my thing. I'm much more of an active listener. And re-listening to lectures, they used to help a lot. But that was when I had a lot of time. Like I would constantly re-listen to the same lecture. But if you're in lecture longer than you have time at home, it's kind of hard to do or get into the flow of listening to lectures because there's just so many. So I can maybe listen to a few, but not a lot. But one key thing is active listening. You have to do something that gets you like going instead of just staring at the screen all the time, which is I still do that all the time where I stare at this PowerPoint slide and I'm like zoning out. But I think if you're struggling, I would say to get like a baseline of your knowledge and then group study with your friends. That really helps for me. I can't group study all the time because I want a solid foundation before I jump into talking about it with other people. So essentially study by yourself and then talk about what you learned to other people. If you're at a point where you can explain it, it's like, you got it. It's in your brain. Uh, yeah, because sometimes you think you know things and then if you put out a blank sheet of paper in front of you and you try to write down everything you know, you actually don't know as much as you know. So two things, maybe get out a piece of paper, write down everything you know to test your true knowledge. Second, try teaching that subject to your friend. That is it for my spiel. My pasta has been waiting for me to eat this whole time. Don't forget to drink water, go outside, don't stress too much, which is it's easy to say, but I know it's really hard, so hang in there. Um, okay, have a good day. I will try to be back soon. I actually, 
I have a study with me video that I have yet to upload, but I will try to find time for that mm, later. Most of you guys probably won't find that video entertaining, but I felt like study with me videos definitely helped me the past two weeks, so maybe it'll help someone else too. Okay, goodbye.